Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truths episode, hmm, I think 118, <laughs> for Russell Brands and other people. Uh, let's see, today, hmm, I was looking at this thing from Dr. Hanier, and it seems that you can travel. Well, we know that you can travel. Uh, you can get on an airplane and travel physically, but you can also travel within your consciousness. So if you are all of the universe at once, and time doesn't really exist, and this physicality is really an illusion of a hologram, <laughs> a very convincing illusion. Okay, so going back to Einstein, I'm really crazy here. Um, Einstein said that basically there is no difference with our, with our electrons. There's, there's no real difference going back to this again, <laughs> the solidness of this, the wispiness of this, all of these different types of uh, vibrational energies of our electrons. Well, there's no separation. So that means that like, there is no real difference between where I end, where is I ending and something else beginning. Um, certainly we tend to think of it that way with the um, hard table. <laughs> if you were to hit your head. <laughs> but once again, he called it a very convincing illusion. So uh, we actually perceive and our perception of something is what brings it into a fruition or to a reality. Um, so it isn't really real. <laughs> and we're not even sure if things exist when we turn our backs because we have no real <laughs> proof sometimes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so are you looking to constantly expand everything you are and everything you do? Would you like to more easily embody the changes occurring on the planet and in consciousness itself? You're invited to travel the world with this doctor <laughs> and access consciousness in a totally new way. One where you get to access, contribute, and play with the energy, space, and consciousness of different places, spaces, and energies around the world. So, like for instance, when we are laying in the spirit, so this is a, a born again Christian kind of thing. Uh, and so when you're hit with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of good love, God, they call it God. <laughs> Some atheists say it's love. So, I mean, we've been killing each other <laughs> over the name of the great entity. It's consciousness. No, it's Yahweh. It's Allah. It's my you it's my unmentionable name, God. You cannot take his name. His. <laughs> and other people are like, she. <laughs> Goddess. <laughs> you know, and uh well, I think wake up. It's all the same good energy. And we've been killing each other over the name. Remember my cousins? They were like, no. <laughs> She's grandma. No, she's nana. It's just in another language. It's in Italian. It still means grandmother. It's <laughs> adorable. I will always remember that because it makes me see where even little, innocent, adorable children can be ripping each other's hair out over the name of your beloved. <laughs> so we, we need to stop that. That's just, that's ridiculous. You know, uh, my grandmother, my beloved, my God, is better than yours. What? <laughs> it's the same one. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> oh, it's telling me that my computer's too full. That's nice. So I have to get rid of the warnings. There's a <laughs> terrible, but I, I will have to take care of it. I've been taking care of it in pieces. So in the meantime, uh, there's certain things that can be unlocked and accessed differently in different parts of the world. And each class of access consciousness as a unique transformative energy that facilitates change in present time with what is currently going on in the world. My whole body is floating and expanding and changing any areas where there had been pain was visited, enlightened and then lived. The light energy that floated in through and around me was extraordinary. So, uh, going back to meditation, you can start off really small with just a beautiful little mantra, the mantra that you understand. Or you could go into the in the Indian language or other sounds that mean God. So in the Kundalini, we don't use an Om. We use an Ong, 
which is a very different kind of energy. All sounds. Okay, so going back to that one post where they had a sound vibration and that frequency actually produced a design. For sand, it's just sand scattered on a plate. And that vibrational energy actually uh, vibrated the pieces of sand, individual grains, to make a gorgeous design. And as you changed the frequency, you changed the sound vibration coming out that produced another beautiful, looks like a sacred geometrical shape. So again, we're mostly water and we can be ordered, you know, put into order and put into health quite easily. We're lacking in our music these days, the 432 Hertz. But if we were to listen to it, which I actually have mantras playing 24 and seven, um, you actually put into order your cells. So your health increases drastically. And uh, I like increased drastically. <laughs> good health. <laughs> uh, yes, and many of you are looking for good health. So that's one. Also, another one. I mean, you could, this is like, one of those things you would have to try and you have to figure it out. It's a mental thing that, you know, back in the 1950s, they had brainwashed everybody about what you should eat. And of course they were trying to sell meat. <laughs> of course. You know, whatever they were trying to sell was what you should eat. And nothing much has changed. And I actually saw a warning about vegan diet. Oh, it could destroy your health. No, it couldn't. <laughs> it could make you have health. Um, yes, you, 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 it's true. You don't want to destroy the the, uh, the nutrients um, and the nutrition coming into the body, but you will actually gain so much more nutrition if you change to a raw foods diet, if you just increase to organic fruits and vegetables. And I know it seems like it's really hard. Oh, it's so expensive. But if you think what you spend on meat <laughs> that's full of hormones and suffering, you realize that you eat the energy and c when you consume it it actually breaks down and becomes your cells whatever you ingest breaks down into a little amino acids of building blocks of the materials that build up and become your dna and your proteins so uh when it goes to rebuild it unbuilds from being their dna and rebuilds into being your dna uh but using theirs <laughs> so you're actually embodying the suffering you know in some of these situations Ooh, it's, they were in free range <laughs> they were living a happy life and so you wonder why you're depressed after uh or not well feeling not well feeling under the weather uh okay so how, how does it happen i used to be a food taster how does it go from being food tasting to vegan. Well, you might go ebb and flow tides of the ocean there because your body, you don't want to do anything all or nothing. It's not like a cold turkey. It's not like a drug. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> but you might want to consciously be aware and never ingest anything that doesn't belong in the temple. <laughs> and it is a temple. I mean, it, it's, it's your vehicle for, for the entire lifetime that you have here. Why would you want to destroy your own temple? <laughs> think, think, think. Uh, a lot of uh, drug companies think that it's good for you to destroy it because then they got you <laughs> enslaved for the rest of your life on these medications. That uh, That's what they call them, medications. Unfortunately, when people ask, can you ever get off of them, you cannot. Uh, that's according to the doctors, that's what they say. And then um, it produces other diseases that then require more medications, that require more medications when you get more diseases from the other medications. It snowballs. That's very frightening, don't you think? Maybe it's time to wake up and pay attention. You are your best physician. Only you can take care of you the way you <laughs> should be. But do some research. First of all, you want to make sure you're getting enough protein. You want to make sure you're getting enough. Well, first of all, you want to get rid of fluoride out of your diet. You've got to stop drinking the tap water. They put that in there for a reason to keep us all mindless. 
you want to watch a really good comedy, uh, see that movie, which I will not remember the name now that I'm trying to, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I, I was only on fluoride water for a small spread of time during college, and I could actually feel the difference. I was a straight-A student, and we had just gotten city water. My, my family always had well water, and so we never had fluoride, ever. And all of a sudden, I was like, gosh, I don't know whether it's stress or what. I was sitting on the floor thinking, like, I can't think straight. What is this? What's wrong with me? Am I just tired? Really, really tired. But I realized now that it was the sudden change and having some increased fluoride in my diet. But I didn't know. Well, I mean, we, we were thinking that, you know, it was so backwards in country to have <laughs> well water. Like, you've got to have the city water, you know. It's cleaner. Uh, no. <laughs> It's not. Um, so there, you have to wake up on that. Number one, clean, beautiful, non-fluorinated. Yeah, it's not for your teeth. It's for a brain fog. <laughs> and that's not cool. I think it's, if, you know, if you're going to enslave someone, at least have a fair, <laughs> at least let them know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hitler put it in the water. <laughs> so rotten. <laughs> but how rotten is it that we're doing it to ourselves and this own in our own countries what some states of the country is in the country I live they don't they won't they banned it thank you <laughs> so um, yes fresh water fresh fruits and vegetables if you can grow things yourself it would be really great you know it's organic then don't put any pesticides don't put any chemicals make sure that the ground that you use doesn't have that stuff and make sure that if you can, well, wouldn't that be great in a perfect world? You don't water with fluoride water. <laughs> Ever see some of the plants, they die. And I'm thinking, oh my God, we watered them with the tap water. That's so bad. And they died. Like my basil, it didn't like it. Too much fluoride. Oh, so basil absorbs fluoride. So you can actually unfluorinate your water if you dip basil in it for about 20 minutes while you know, you're cooking dinner and come back and then you've got really tasty water that you then take the basil and throw it out. Basil, they call it holy basil because it takes away fluoride. Yeah, it takes a hit for you. Also onion, it's a really funny thing, but they were talking about how if you're under the weather that you can boil an onion literally with some other root vegetables and reground your energy um, just by eating things that were grounded. So you really are what you eat. There you go. On that note, love you. Mm.